Hey guys, welcome back. As you guys know, I've been at Lexi's doing her nursery and I've not got this project finished. Usually I do finish a project before I move on, but yeah. I, although I do need to go to Debbie's and finish under her sink, I need to go to my mom's and paint a piece of trim, but I need to get this floor finished. And if I was thinking straight, I would have probably pulled the washer and dryer out and did that and then push that back and did the rest of the floor. But I don't do anything in order or that makes sense. You guys know that. Flash hush. So I'm going to finish my project here and then I'm going to go around and get this house cleaned up because, yeah, you can imagine what it looks like after being gone for like a week, half a week, three days, whatever. Feels like a week. But anyway, gonna get this finished. And I may do something with this wall back here, even though I just painted it gray. Now that I've got this up, I'm not loving this, so we'll see. We'll see. Hold up just a minute. Hello, little girl. You wanna help? No. You don't? No. I need to take this and put it on the charger. Been looking for some help just to find myself. Yeah. Been losing my focus like a thousand times before. Can't take this anymore. Cause I've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long oh, Yeah, waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time You all are so sweet. I swear you send the sweetest things. All y'all saying you'll take Flash? Come get him. He's Kennedy's dog and where's Kennedy? She's off to college. I've got the dog. So my brother's girlfriend, the one that's got the bougie house, she gave me two rolls of wallpaper that I had a fit over in her guest room or her daughter's room. So it's Magnolia home, so she gave me so my brother's boo, my brother's girlfriend with the bougie house gave me some bougie wallpaper. I think I'm gonna do that wall. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Let's unroll it and just take a look. I know it's black and y'all gonna be like, that dust is gonna be terrible, but it's my dust. I'll deal with it. I'm one thing to anyway, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. This is the prettiest wallpaper. I had a fit over it because y'all know I like black. So she had black walls in her house. Y'all know I showed you that video. And she has a black ceiling in some of her rooms. And I think it's adorable. I'm so out of focus. Focus. Focus, focus. Okay. Anyway, Dollar General sending me coupons. That little black cat that's made her, you know what? He ran out in the garage, so he's in there beyond. But. This is the wallpaper she gave me, and I think that would look so good with that, but over here. I don't know. Let's see. What do y'all think? Let me hold it up. Yes. I think that would be so pretty. I'm doing it. Go! Lord have 
mercy. Y'all are nosy. That's the nosiest blame cats I've ever seen in my life. Huh? I am being nice. I'm, I'm being nice. Trust me, that's nice. Trust me, girlfriend, that is nice. 59 inches to do it. I don't know which way's up and which way's down. Michelle, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. She is from Virginia, so I have one fan at least. She said she loves watching, and I said, I don't know why anybody likes to watch us. Where are you putting that little paper in here? I have it in here. That's a lot of wallpaper. Gosh, that might have done a lot. How much? That's a lot. I guess you do Heather's room. Heather did one in her room. Okay, maybe I'll do this in Heather's room. Maybe I'll just. Do you have any one in her room, too? Heather had a fit over this for her room, so I may just do this in there. Or just one wall. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. That's a lot of wallpaper. How much does that do? It's 33 feet. Okay, I'm gonna go figure the square fit of her wall and see if there's enough there to do it. For I am doing it here. We'll see. I'm just laying flooring in my laundry room. You love that baby girl? Mm-hmm. Can you wait to hold her and feed her? I need hangers. Change her blowout diapers when she poops all the way up her back. I need hangers. Those are hunters. Forgive you, although you drive me crazy. I want you to stay. Beady cracks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grout that. Yeah. It's peel and stick that you can grout. We're gonna take a little break. My mom and dad's here. My mom's dryers were up, so I told her she could have that extra one in our garage. So we're gonna load that up, take that out there for them, and hook it up. And we will take y'all along with us. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it 
wants. I just let you beat me. Look can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take hold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. I want to see your car. You like it? No. You don't like it? Why? No. Why? Because it's leaking, leaking water. It's leaking water. I'll take, take it back down there. Oh. I like it. Oh. Oh, yeah, I like it. Why don't you take it Because there's a water leak. You can go with us if you want to. I've been out there cleaning them birds out. I have wore myself out. had it the night before it last because her tacos are so good. <laughs> These are so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So a lot around here ain't it hey look how pretty i step in a runner snakes don't get rotten ones Ooh, I, I know i can't stand that can't stand to stick my finger in one no. I did. I don't mean. I juiced the last ones I made. Mm -hmm. My granny tomatoes them. Here's a pretty one. I'm particular with my tomatoes. Um, okay. Oh, don't stick them in the bag. Huh? Don't stick them in the bag. I don't know. If I stick my hand in, I might stick them in there. That's probably enough. Oh, there's one that's got a split in it. Get it out. Mom's got tomatoes growing around her mailbox, so. We're getting on to eat it with cottage cheese. Do y'all eat cottage cheese and tomatoes? Let me know. We are from the south. We eat anything. Well, no, I'm not going to say we eat anything. I eat anything, except I don't like chicken liver. I chicken liver. I don't like llama beans or coconut sticks. Yeah. I ain't crazy about chewing on sticks. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Good eating. We could make some little baby fried ones. Oh yeah, that'd be good. There's still blackberries. Well, it's there is. Are these late ones? I wonder what that is. Great fun. It is a great fun. Ooh, I thought that was a snake stick. Stick Amanda. Wonder when those are gonna be. Don't pull them. You like turnip greens? Yeah. I have two. Dang. And there's one. And there's one. Yeah, there's some over here too. Lord have mercy. Do you want to take a couple? Here. <laughs> okay. Just one or. Dang. Who needs Food City? When you got daddy. Don't pick all those. Don't pick one and eat it. Pick it. Right there's a vine and right over there's a vine. Did you find the bell pepper? They are yeah. Oh, those little be scrawny things? Yeah, that's That's pepper? Yeah, it's kind of. Uh-uh. Old people used to 
strip, put them on a thread. That's what Mama used to do. And, uh, and then so they dry out. And there's they red. Scramble. There's red ones. Yeah, they're real hot. Well, like if you chopped it up in vegetable soup, how many would you put in it? A big pot? Uh, maybe two. Oh, you want some? Now the red, most of the time are not hardly as hot. You want one of these, Heather? Now them's hot, but they're not as hot as the cow. hot banana. Here, take two of those. I, I love the hot banana. I said, who needs Food City? Right. What's that big thing? Oh, that's a calla lily. Oh, so you don't eat that? Yeah. What's that big thing over there? That's mom's rhubarb. Rhubarb. Hey, when's those turnips gonna be ready? She got some red peppers. I don't even know my colors. There's baby ones. Do you want me to cut you some rhubarb off of it? Twist them, you don't cut Oh, well why? What's the difference? Yeah, it, I don't know. Oh my God. Did they bury the cat in the, what you're eating? That's not where that cat's buried. No, it's pretty good. Okay, it's sure. What is that? I was like, surely they haven't buried. No, I, I got that off Jake's grave oh. to see if it still worked. It's like a sunflower, but it's brown. It's a Gerber daisy. Oh. A Gerber daisy? Mm -hmm. I bet all these people know what we're it's talking about because I appeal to the older generation, apparently. Hey, I'm fine with that. I'd rather deal with the older people than the younger yeah, people yeah. any day. Lot There's one in the back that looks just like Kobe. That's Kobe. Yeah, but, Mom, if he comes outside, the worms will go right back. That's why he's probably got worms again. You want well, them, Heather? He comes outside. Then he's probably got the worms again. So we traded mom a dryer for two jars of tomatoes and a bag full of vegetables. Pretty good deal. Ready for the turnips. <laughs> get any cleaning done in this video. I did finish this floor. You all seen that I took my dryer that wasn't being used to my mom to let her use that because hers was torn up and there's no sense in her going and spending money on one when we have one sitting there that needs to be used. So we did that and then you'll see toward the end of the video Kennedy comes home for her fall break and Flash is so happy to see her Allison also went to Hobby Lobby with Lexi and bought some material to make a no sew blanket. So you'll see us do that in just a little bit too. But I just wanted to go ahead and share my devotional with you guys. And I know it's a little early, but I just have a heavy heart this morning. When I opened this devotional and read today, it just soothed my heart. And maybe one of you guys need to hear this too. But today's is the good lane. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalms 27, 13. Do you ever catch yourself dwelling on the negative aspects of life? We can be nonchalant when someone tells us good news, but talk for hours about conflict, worries, and disappointment. It is good to communicate things that aren't going well in our lives, but we can also fall into a trap of setting our minds on the wrong things. Give your mind over to truth, honor, pure, and lovely things today. You are sure to find goodness in unexpected places. Thank God for creating you with goodness in your heart. How can you avoid the temptations of indulging in negative talk or harmful gossip today? There are a lot of times that I focus on the bad or I focus on the negative instead of looking around and seeing what God has given me. This especially was true a few years ago. I was very eat up with jealousy and I was really bad to look around 
at what others had and wonder why I didn't have that too. I thought maybe their life was a little better than mine. Their marriage was better. Their kids did more, acted better. They could afford vacations. I struggled just to pay my bills. And, you know, the list goes on and on. But I will tell you that when you look around at what others have or what others do or what you think God's blessed others with and you don't have that yourself, it will steal your joy. Comparison and jealousy will steal your joy. I focus on what I have and what I have inside my home and inside my immediate family. And I don't look at what others buy, spend, or do because then I'm going to see all the things that I can't do for somebody or for my family. It's just easy to fall into that trap of comparison or to talk about somebody. It's easy to get bitter when you look at others and you think that their blessings are more than yours. It's easy to fall into that trap to where you'll talk about them and you'll become bitter. I've been there. But the one thing I've learned over the past few years is that if you will focus on your blessings and on everything that God has given you and appreciate that and not look at what everybody else has or what everybody else is doing or getting to do or able to do, your blessings will fall into your lap. Over the last two years, I have been more blessed with not things, I don't mean material things, but I've been more blessed through my trials and all of my adversities when I've just sat back, when I had no other choice but to sit flat on my butt and focus on me and not focus on everybody else, that's when my blessings came and that's when I found how good God's love is and how much he's blessed my life. If you can just sit back and look at yourself and you're full of envy and jealousy and bitterness and all that, let it go. Focus on how good God's been to you. Don't let that steal your joy. That flash. Oh, hi, I love the grout look in between this pill and stick towel. I absolutely love this floor. I think it looks so much better and I just think it looks so neat and crisp and clean with those grout lines. That grout was quick drying. You have to clean up within an hour of putting it on there, clean up your mess around your tiles. And then it was like hard as a rock within maybe two hours. So really love that. We had so much fun making this little blanket. It's just the no sew where you cut and then you tie and you have to be careful what material you get because some will, you know, fringe and look bad. But this material so far has done really good. It's a really soft, thin material. And when we were cutting it, there were no strings or anything like that. So hopefully this will hold up good. I thought this material was so cute. That's what Lexi and Allie picked. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a few random things that we did. And this was on Thursday, voiceover and this on Friday. So this is today's devotional. I hope that it helped some of you guys out. I know it sure did me. It just reminded me of all the blessings that God's given me. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. As always, showing up for me. You guys mean so much. And I appreciate you. I really do. And remember, I love you. But Jesus loves you with an unconditional love that nobody else can replace. No matter what you've done, where you're at, he loves you so much. And I'm going to head to my brother's and start on his kitchen. I'll throw that video up for you guys tomorrow. And I will see you then. Don't give up. No, don't give in.
faltering and fading I know there is something more than this I think I am ready for doing some changing Oh God, there is something Be a friend to the lonely, the joy that he showed. 